the Cobra Kai episode that I watched this morning. What even happened? Oh yeah, Johnny wants to contest Cobra Kai being banned. And Miguel had a not date. That was the best date Sam had ever had. I don't think she said it was the best not date she ever had. I think she said it was the best date she ever had. And then there's the concept of not accepting defeat. That's something in this episode. And I, I get tired of... If stuff keeps hitting me down, like, what, <laughs> like, like, why, like, where does one find the juice to just keep getting back up if you keep getting hit down? Like, just stop hitting me down <laughs> so that, I mean, unless, unless, like, I could, I could maybe see it if, like, you ensure that you always win, which I guess never accepting defeat would do. So that way you know that whatever happens, you know you're going to get that win because you always make sure you get that win. So you know that. That's a way that I could see. But otherwise, it, like, if life is going to keep coming at you or whatever is going to keep coming at you from different directions, then just, like, like stop knocking me like knock me down like once a year or something like leave me alone <laughs> like leave me alone like stop if I get knocked down I'm not just going to keep telling myself I need to get back up I need to get back up like I have tools reflections like I have ways of combating um hardships or like or I have ways of combating I have tools I have stuff but like I'm not trying to get hit down repeatedly otherwise it's like I might have like I don't want to just keep getting back up but if you did if you had a never accept defeat attitude then you would always win right or at least not be defeated and so you could like it's like you could always, regardless of what's in between you and that win, you, you kind of could perhaps develop that, like, trust that you're going to win, regardless of what's in between you and that win. So if you never accept defeat, if, like, one person, like, whatever happens, it wouldn't matter because you know you're going to, there's a way that you could think about it or be about it that, like, you, you know it, that you're going to, win because you never accept defeat like you always go for that win or go for that at least not being defeated situation and you could like develop um a trust in that win that you know will always be there or at least a situation of not being defeated besides that i don't know like Maybe I should just develop a relationship with the floor. If I'm always going to be hit down, just be like, oh, th actually, that's another way. I mean, that's accepting defeat, or that but that's, but that's a way to deal with um, getting hit down all the time. Like, you could learn to, you could develop an attachment or bond or trust with winning, or you could develop, like, a love for the floor, or being knocked down on the floor, so it's like, Oh, I'm learning stuff. Oh, yay, I'm learning again. Like, I don't know. Then, but then if you love the floor, then I wonder if, like, would you, or maybe you get back up because you want to be knocked down again in a different way. <laughs> That's another, like, way around things or a cheat code you could do. That's interesting. I guess I just have to figure out what works for me. Listen to listen to myself and see what works because like like why or what's the reason for never accepting defeat like Miguel tried to ask Sam on that day at first she said but at first she had reasons or whatnot but then he found a way and it ended up being Sam's best date or not date I think straight up date she's ever had that would have happened if Miguel didn't push
strike first strike hard is dangerous stuff like what if the person wasn't even gonna strike you what if it was a misunderstanding and you already struck first and struck hard but then at the same time even if you're off on understanding whatever it lets them know who's who's in charge who's the boss who who runs things it sets that tone that also can be important like in a gang situation perhaps or jail situation I don't know certain situations something that I'm thinking of but it's not like unique to this episode something that I could have said in a previous episode and maybe forgot but like maybe a couple episodes so that's the one where like Miguel's mom first says he can't do karate anymore but I think that was a few episodes ago or a couple episodes ago so but yeah wow it's only it's seven minutes and I feel pretty much done unless there's other stuff I end up talking about and that's not even me trying to cram it um but yeah I just I get tired of getting knocked down one of my prayers today was that Maybe I'm, like, just um, ill-suited for life. Like, I just get affected by stuff so easily. Like, I'm not, I don't know if it's from, maybe it's from watching cartoons or just the way that, like, TV told me that life would be. I don't know. But then at the same time, and this is kind of what I said in the prayer and stuff, too, is, like, but that's also where some of the good for me can come from could come from too I don't know I'm kind of I'm kind, I'm ill suited for life like I can make people happy I can also maybe confuse other people especially in these years or these days with some some kind of weird or unique ways I go about stuff but like can cause people happiness or whatnot, but like I'm just affected, like saddened, annoyed, frustrated by this and that. Like I already said, there were those three days in a row that I was frustrated by something. I'm ill suited for life. But then maybe part of what made me ill suited for life is also what gives me strength. Maybe if it if it is like cartoons, like just that world that's painted or that but then that what if that's also that also might be where I get my exuberance or like silliness or whatever that people love. Not not my parents per se, but people. Maybe I just need to be right around the right people that fuel me. The right people that can sustain me. There's a football player that on the team that uh, he kind of he kind of liked me last year. This year, I don't know. Maybe right now, I think he's at like a half, maybe a halfway point or being, I don't know, or kind of 
off, but not fully off. I don't know, but um, and then I was in my heart off with him because I thought he owed another football player money, who is a great person. Um, but it, I got the people wrong. It's not him. <laughs> um, but and then also this, like recently, there was a girl that like I really was bonding with and thought something special was happening with, and then she only, she just wanted to be friends after like I had like made, like she's the first I've never made out with someone until like a few weeks ago with this person. And, like, she put my hand on her, like, bare breast and, like, just st stuff that, like, I don't, like. And, like, we just really connected and there's all this connection. And then the next day she was talking about she wanted to be friends. And, like, that, so that was, like, that was a rough week. But apparently he ended up having sex with that girl, like, a week later. I found out from the football player who's a great person that I referenced a little bit earlier. Um, but I kind of just, whatever. But, um, but he, the player that, like, I don't know how in reality we are with each other, like, in our hearts, but, like, he had something on Facebook that I wonder if he even, like, I wonder if it could be about, like, like me because like of all the like stuff that I was expressing or like I wonder if he ended up if she ended up talking to him about like stuff that I said of like when I was struggling with the situation with her and stuff but but he had a post that was like um essentially being around batteries and not vacuums in your life and I shared that on Facebook and that was like, and that's kind of, I guess what I'm saying is like, maybe I just need to be around the right people to sustain me because like, or that feed me or like keep me because I seem to be ill-suited for 